This video is here to provide tips and tricks on how to record the best video and audio using your smartphone or laptop from home DIY style. I'll provide supplemental links in the description and of course if you have any questions please don't hesitate to reach out. All right so first things first you're gonna need to be inventive. Oh. Get innovative. No smartphone tripod, no worries. Let the internet guide you. Search for smartphone tripod hacks or smartphone stabilization. Or just go watch this amazing video by Seth Spike Hacks. Oh. Next up is lighting. Go to the good light. If we can't see it, we won't care. Avoid direct overhead. Yeah. We look hollow, it casts shadows. Watch out for harsh backlights or silhouettes. <laughs> There we go, soft diffuse lights what we're going for. Try out this technique bloggers use. Walk around your house assessing the light and background. Here we've got decent light, but a not so attractive background and a dog for distraction. Again, decent light, but the background's a bit ugh. My oh, eyes. far too bright. Keep going. Okay, we're getting somewhere. The light's nice. I think I can work with this. We can work with this. Yeah. Here's a shot of where I found the good light. I'm lit from the front and the right. I'm back far enough that the light's diffused and soft. Otherwise, I'd use a white sheet or maybe my blinds to control the quality. Essentially, whatever space you're committed to, find the good light. Another essential tip is to give your scene some depth. Don't go smushing yourself up against a wall. Ah, much better, we can work with this. Another thing super important is your angles. Our devices, especially laptops, are designed to unfortunately <gasps> produce a terrible perspective in its natural state. Explore and find what suits you. Eye level and slightly above are great options. These angles are more slimming and less... So grab a stool or a stack of books. Do whatever you've gotta do to find that sweet spot. If you live in a windowless house or you cannot find a spot with decent light, Add some. When I'm confined to my home studio, I use a secondary monitor as my primary light source and I just set the desktop background to white. But you could add a book light or a clamp light. I didn't have a decent lamp, so here, this lady's got a good one. Sandwich whatever device you're using to record yourself between you and the light. Thanks, lady. Remember, you're going for nice, soft, even lighting. You may have to move your light source closer or further away. Next up is composition and background. Take your time. Find what you like, consider the story you want to tell, or the vibe you want to put out there. Tidy up your background and omit anything that's not adding, but possibly distracting from your message. I'm not saying you need to rearrange, but just be mindful. Now that you're feeling good about your scene, consider how your story is best told. If you look off camera, be sure to give yourself some looking room. If you're going to address the camera directly, be sure not to let your eyes wander. Maintain that eye contact. And here's a couple of more examples of why it's important to take the time to craft your scene. Antlers should be intentional, not accidental. And one real quick thing I really must address is please remember that you're on camera. Try to be aware if you're fidgeting or... Oh, stop. You're welcome. Audio, much like video, if we can't hear it, we're not gonna care. Grab a box, some extra pieces of foam, maybe a towel, and how about a tablecloth? And boom, uh, you've got a vocal box. Okay, this is me coming to you from outside the vocal box. And now here we are speaking inside the vocal box. I've turned my phone upside down so that the microphone is facing up and slightly towards the back of the box. See me? Ooh. Now, some of you may have a strong aversion to being on camera, but that's okay. You still have a story to tell. Think B-roll. All the same rules apply. Go to the good light, consider composition, and take your time. Move slow. Don't forget to stabilize. Show us your loud and demanding co-workers and all their distracting ways. Whatever the view is like from where you are, we'd love to hear from you. Okay, so we're at the end. I'm coming to you in a terribly cluttered space on top of three books using my secondary monitor as my primary light source. I do have an overhead light on and it's a completely different color temperature as my monitor and the light coming in from this window to my left. I've got no headroom. I'm dead center, right in the middle of that composition. This is a studio, this is a workspace, and it's part of my story. What was I trying to say? I think I said it. I think I said it. 
know the rules, but it's okay to break them. I'm not even using a microphone or a vocal box. If you're looking for ways to be more creative and want to get into video editing, why not try out recording some of your own professional sort of narration or voiceover using one of the homemade vocal boxes and then splice that into some of your B-roll or put all three together. This journal entry kind of gritty kind of style mixed with your supremely recorded voiceover at, with some pictures spliced in. Yeah. Don't put all that pressure on yourself. Have fun. In the end, it's about the story you want to tell and how you want to tell it. Ah, oh, phone! <laughs>